I don't I don't want to have to yell at you. How are you? Good. How about yourself? Good. How was school today? Mm. Mm. What grade are you in? Fifth. Fifth grade? Okay. About to go to six. About to six. go to six. You excited? No. Why? My mom said I got to go to this school because she better work there. Oh, your mom works in this school right here? No, she's about to. Oh, she's about to work at that school. And you don't want to work at school with your mom? I don't want to go to that school. I heard there's drama in that school. Oh. Well, you know, we have um, uh, police officers now assigned to some of our elementary schools and some of our middle schools. So hopefully you'll feel a lot better about having uh, police officers in Those the school to kind of help you out. safety is the kids. Huh? It's the kids. It's the kids? Tell me a little bit about the kids. <clears throat> This is hard. Oh yeah, no, it's not hard. They keep fighting. Okay. Bullying people. Okay. One of my friends' uh, sister got bullied, and they they start fighting, and then they will start, and then it took two days uh -huh. for them to stop recovering. So is it in the school that you're currently going to, or this no, school? This school, and so, some at mm, Campbell too. Okay. What school you go to? Campbell Elementary. So, so do you think it'll help if I come by and maybe have a conversation with the kids at the school about bullying? Mm. You think These it'll make kids a don't difference? Listen. They, our teachers do stuff, so, but they don't listen. They cuss the teacher out. Well, this is the best of us right here. <laughs> oh, this DC. She said Kimbo. Yeah, it's the oh. best of us though. You see this girl right here? Yeah. We she gotta knows. protect her, dog. Fact. Yeah. This is the she, best she's of very, us. Very, very impressive young lady. Man. This is a um, super in the community. This is basically um, equivalent <laughs> to. A uh, twelve-year-old glider that got accepted to fucking uh, Harvard. Yeah, this is this, this a, a Keila and the B right here, bro. This right here in the community is basically a road scholar uh, in other communities. She's basically a fucking engineer uh, um, and about to go uh, shadow uh, NASA. Yeah, this is this is definitely definitely a prodigy. This is Doogie Hauser and shit. Bro, this is a fifth grader. I ain't gonna lie to you. My sixth grader is not at this girl's level. So yeah. this is the shit right here. And look where she lives. You hear all that noise, all them niggas talking all That's on the yeah. south side. She on the she south said, side. She's fucking elite, bro. Yeah, this is. I'm trying to figure out what neighborhood this is. I'm looking at. I can't. I can't. Figure oh out wow! This. So that means we have to do a little bit more with our young people, right? Some kids think their parents. Some parents don't care. Yeah. I feel you, I, my mom will care. I would have been getting my butt tip. My mom did cares. That. Well, mm -hmm. well, please make sure you thank your mom for giving you the opportunity to talk with me. I appreciate it. Yeah. And so, I so let me ask you a couple of questions. So, what, what can, what can I do? Mm. Um, to help you and, and your friends either in school or in your neighborhood? Is there, is there something? I, I, I listened to your interview and I was very impressed. Oh, thank you. I'm very impressed with your ideas. And so I, I would like to hear them personally from you to see um, what, what you think I can do as the chief of police in your neighborhood. Mm, probably have police officers going around the More dangerous blocks. Officers. Okay. And then every time you like Make sure kids get home safely because they be shooting. Okay. At, at this Halloween, that's what mom. That's why we just passed out candy because kids, people be shooting up and kids be dying every single day. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Kimball, Kimball is uh Kimball's right there off of uh, Minnesota and like deep for Dupont Park. Oh, okay. The projects. Okay. It did not be said. And I'm, I'm, well, we certainly don't want our young people to die every day. We certainly don't want you to be sad. We want you to be, have a vibrant and a very, very happy, at least Halloween. And so what I will tell you is we have a lot of police officers out tonight. That's great. To make sure that we can keep our communities safe, especially where you, young people will be walking around trying to get their little basket filled full of candy or bags filled full of candy. That's my job. That's my thing. job is to do the best I can to make sure that you have a good Halloween tonight. I don't know why kids just don't go to the store and buy some candy. <laughs> you say you don't know why they just don't go and buy the candy. A mother yeah, is doing a yeah. job. It's reasons because then see, you don't see if, if something happened to this little girl, man. It's it's like it's like it, it's 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 just she she lives she's in a blender like she's in like a danger zone. Right, man. but think about it, how good think about how good her mother is doing of a job. Because you know she's working probably one, two jobs. 
Um, but you know what got- I think? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta push back on that a little bit because I, I'm, I seen this. Those kids come out like that. They just naturally like that. Yeah. Oh, so like you, think, you think, yeah, think, nah. You like, it don't matter who the parent like. When they like this, it usually be just that's just their personality. The old soul, kid. the mother crackhead or fucking, you know, skeezer. I and, mean, yeah, but she said her mother about to work at a school, so she's she's probably okay. But I, I know what you're saying, Ock. Like, yeah, it don't. I know what you're saying. Like, some of them just come out like that. Like, they come yeah. from the work. You would look at her. And yeah, you would think like she come from like a two parent household. No, no, no. Like, I know she don't come from no two parent household because she has not. She has not mentioned a dad or father at all. I know it's a single parent household, but all I'm saying is her mother is still like keeping her innocent to the point where she's still a kid. By fifth grade in the hood, they don't talk like kids anymore. They are like little hood rat, little little adults. You no, know I, got you. Yeah. I got so you. The fact that she's still innocent and talking about, I don't know why kids just don't don't go buy candy, or I just want to go trick or treating in peace, and I'm a witch. Like they not witches in fifth grade anymore. They're like little sexy reds and little whores and shit in fifth grade. Like, you know what I'm saying? For instance, for instance mm. I got like I got like a lot of little cousins in DC and whatnot. And some of them are like her, and it's just it has there's no rhyme or reason for it. It's just like literally, they they live where they live, you know. Their parents, their parent now the, the mother could could provide some stability, but as far as the personality and the intelligence. That just be how they they literally just are like that. There's no reason why they're like that. I mean, it's just right. Who they are. Yeah, I think that I think the, <laughs> I think the mom, even when they in even when they have that that you know what I'm saying natural charisma and the the personality like the like Bonjour, like a lot of girls do that's just like her. The the mother still has to kind of um, nurture that nurture that yeah they still kind of gotta feed into that shit to keep them childish to a point where they're they're not trying to be fucking grown in fifth sixth seventh grade this girl is going to be innocent up until the point she starts falling for boys and all this other shit but she's That's innocent next year my nigga she in fifth grade huh <laughs> nah i'm just being silly <laughs> yeah but she yeah, but innocent, here, dog. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. She's in a treacherous area, and um, you can just hear like the the noise in the background, and like the it's, it's a very dangerous area, and she's got a long way to where else in her life her mother's was at another school now her mother's going to this bad school and putting her in this bad school that she knows she doesn't want to go to could this be the impetus that you know the, the girl says she don't want to go to this school her mother was like you're gonna go into the school because i work it you know what i'm saying absolutely but is it is it the bad influence or is it her like decisions if God forbid she decides to be, you know, a bad kid or something. Well, it, it's yeah. a, it's everything like you don't know. You can't. You mean it's a case by case, I think. But it could be, you know, after a while. Right. It could like it could be anything. But like after a while, after she she just be watching how son teens get away with shit and like like. <laughs> Then nothing ever happens to him, and this shit just becomes normal. She may just decide, fuck it, find a, a pack of hood rat bitches and just go off. So it could be anything. Yeah, exactly. Don't gotta mm-hmm. get poisoned. Oh. Or if they like did something to the candy, you know, mm-hmm. you probably don't know. Mm-hmm. And then if what if somebody kid and say, oh, come here, the candy's in my house, and they go try to kidnap you. Oh, wow. Well, hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, with, with the young people being out today and it's Halloween, hopefully they'll go out with their parents, right? Did you go out with your mom today? No, I'm not going out at home. You're not going I'm out at all? I'm staying inside. Staying, staying inside? Okay. Yeah. 
Well, listen, I, I will commit to making sure that we have uh, more officers around in the neighborhood. Uh, we do. Uh, we also walk around in the neighborhood. You ever heard of Officer Friendly? Yeah. Okay, so Officer Friendly is kind of like a, a relationship that I'm building with you right now, just having a conversation. Hey, it's, it's Chief Pam and Taylor, right? Mm -hmm. Just having a nice conversation so that we so that in the future, when you see me again, I won't be a stranger to you and you won't be a stranger to me. Yeah. Would you like that? Yeah, that's awesome. And one of the things that um, uh, I'd also ask is that um, have you have you had do you have a, a, a little bitty mentor? You know what a mentor is? A problem, like a little no, problem. No, someone who, who helps you kind of you can oh, talk yeah. to you and a friend or somebody. I got a lot. You got a lot of them. Curtis, Curtis my mom, mom, my siblings. Excellent. And sometimes my dog, if I feel like it. Your little dog. Yeah, they, they can be a comfort to all of us from time to time. Right? Yeah, they don't talk back. <laughs> then they don't. They, they just <laughs> they sit right there. Look, they just sit like right there listening. Like, that, like that they is listen. a good thing. Yeah. And so we have a lot of um, uh, different programs. If you want to want me to reach out to your mom to see if you can connect more with our uh, young children's program. You think that'll be a good idea? We go. We take the kids to a lot of uh, basketball games, football games, different mm -hmm. activities. Uh, we talk to them about some of the same stuff activities. Uh, we talk to them about some of the same stuff that you talk to me about, like bullying and things like that. Would you be interested in something like that? Okay. I'll yeah. ask my mom. Oh, okay. you could reach out to Curtis. I can reach out to Curtis yeah. and then have Curtis kind of connect me with your mom and we can do something like that. I would yeah. love to and have you join okay. um, our, 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 our youth that we work with. Curtis every... is probably the baby daddy of another kid, or the younger sibling. Yeah, the dude she's smashing. Her mom's oh, smashing. Yeah. Single dad. And that way you will always have a personal connection to a police officer so that if anything happens, you can call us directly. How about that? Okay. All right. That works for you? Mm -hmm. What's the, What's your plan for the rest of the school week? Anything exciting happening in school? Any tests this week? No, we, we did our tests. You did your tests. How are you doing in school? Good. What's good to you? Learning. Learning. I try to, yeah, learning. Because okay. sometimes we don't get to learn like... Because people be interrupting. Uh, so let, yesterday was a great day because we didn't really get interrupted. Today was okay. Okay. Because people kept messing with me and I stayed and I tried to stay far, far as possibly. Okay. Well, what we will do is with our little with our little youth group, you'll be able to have somebody you can that, that you can talk to when those things come up and we can help you with it. Is that is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. Okay, I like it. Let's do it. All right. Pleasure to meet you, Taylor. Pleasure to meet you. And it's Chief Pan. Chief Pan. Chief Pan. Chief Pan. I love it. All okay. right. You take care of yourself and be safe. You too. All right. Let me know if you need something. <sighs> You're going to be all right. Man, yeah. be all right. I, I, I hope to God that kid makes it, yo. Like, no lie. No, nah, I think yeah. she'll be okay, dog. I yeah, she's going to be all right. Yeah. You got to work, uh, work on that vocabulary a little bit. But yeah, we're going we gonna to figure it out. No, nah, that's that's good for DC <laughs> for where she's at. She talks. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. If, if the regular kids around that joke, you wouldn't probably even be able to understand them. But oh no, 